Criminals landing city jobs only to commit more crimes while working for you. The most recent case involves a city worker arrested last night, accused of stealing city property and hawking it online. News 13's Nancy Laughlin asks why the city is hiring criminals in the first place. It all has to do with a law, a state law that affords criminals the right to work for you. This is Ruben Amris. Last night he was busted, accused of selling stolen parts from the city of Albuquerque, from the Parks and Rec Department where he works. But how this guy got a job with the city in the first place is mind boggling. We checked his background, and according to online court records, he has a rap sheet dating back a decade, a rap sheet that includes pleading guilty to transferring a stolen car and drug use. The city hired him anyway. Even if the city knows if it's about a criminal conviction, if it's been three years since release from criminal justice uh, programs, whether it's probation, parole, then that particular individual would be available, uh, would, would be able to be employed. And Ambres is not the only one with criminal charges or convictions who has been hired by the city, then gotten busted while a city worker. Just last week, Patrick Vargas, an employee with the Housing Authority, was arrested after officers suspected he was dealing drugs from his office, then threatening to put out a hit on a woman who talked to police about it. They didn't find the drugs, but charged him with bribery and retaliation of a witness. Turns out he has a rap sheet, too. Court records show he was convicted of aggravated burglary and aggravated battery in 1994, before he was hired by the city. In many cases, those who break the law are also protected by law. A state law called the Criminal Offenders Employment Act. I think the biggest problem is that the policy itself, that's legislative policy, it's state law here in New Mexico, provides more protections to a criminal perpetrator than it does to a public citizen. The city didn't even begin doing criminal background checks on employees until 2009. But even if there are red flags, it doesn't prohibit criminals from getting a job as a public worker. 99.9% .9 of them do a great job for the taxpayers. But just the mere fact that citizens have to worry about some of those employees uh, maybe having criminal background, uh, maybe having access to their property or their home, uh, that's a bad law to have in place. Of course, that state law doesn't apply to everyone. Police are held to a much higher standard, and certain crimes do prevent people from getting certain jobs. Nancy Laughlin, KRQE News 13. The city of Albuquerque is one of the biggest employers in the state with more than 6,000 employees. City officials say they don't know how many employees have criminal records.